Hi everybody, it's Chris Ward with this CBT Micro Nuggets on Excel 2013, specifically using autofill. Most of you, if you've taken any of my series, know I'm all about making things easier for the individual, especially when you're using Office products. So in this Micro Nugget, I'm going to show you how you can use autofill to put in dates, number series, and get this, you want to create a brand new custom auto list that you can use? You can do it, and I'm going to show you how. One really neat thing about Microsoft Excel, especially 2013, is the ability for you to quickly put lists and serial data together by using autofill. Now, autofill is going to be used in any time you can take something that can go in a sequence and or a series. You can also use it to just simply copy things. Let me show you the first part. Let's say I'm going to be uh, putting together a team schedule where I have seven teams. Each one of these teams plays on a day, and we'll say that the order that they play will always be the same. In other words, the Ducks will always play on day one, Cougars, Lobos, Tigers, Greyhounds, uh, Gators, let me get my Greyhounds there, um, and Broncos. And so these are the names that we have of the teams. Now, a couple of things. Number one, if it's something simple like a date, that they're playing. And let's say we're going to do this all the way through the year 2014. Now, for me to sit here and go 1, 1, 2, 2014, 1, 2, 2014, 1, 3, 2014, what a waste. Instead, I can select something like this, and you'll notice that you're given the ability to select the autofill handle. It's the little, you know, dot right there in the corner. And notice my, my mouse changes from the big crosshairs to the little crosshairs. And when I select it and I begin to move, notice it automatically says, oh, I recognize that's a date. So as I continue to go through, it will fill in a whole bunch of days. I release and bada bing. Bada boom, there it is. By the way, remember, anytime you see the pound symbols, it just says it's too big for that particular uh, column. So we'll just go ahead and resize those. We'll leave those alone. So that's one. You can also do copy. If I take this and I grab it across the first week, seven days, that'll be week one. I let go, and it says, all right, one, 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 one. I can change that if I want to do day one, let's say day two, three, four, five, six, seven, by simply going down to autofill options and say a fill series. You can also do autofill for formatting. I want it to all look like the week with the yellow and the black. I can do that or fill it without formatting. Those are some of your options. But notice down here, I've just got ducks, cougars, lobos, tigers, greyhounds, Gators and Broncos, okay? Let's say I want to make that a list that I could then fill again and again as it moved down. How do I do that? I'm so glad you asked. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the information, okay? So I've selected this information. Sounds good. The second thing that I'm going to want to do is I can come up here to File, go to Options, and this option is going to be over here under the advanced category. Now, you're going to have to uh, kind of scroll down just a little bit to find this, okay? So as you scroll down, you're going to find the edit, the custom lists, which is down, down here. Under create lists for use in sorts and fill sequences. When I select this, it says, all right, what I've got is... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, January, February, dates, and things like that. Or I can create a new list, right? So all I have to do, if I already have this, is go ahead and import these into... Notice it says, all right, you've got this selected. I import it. Ducks, Cougars, Lobos, Tigers, Greyhounds, Gators, or Broncos. I could, of course, just type them in as well if I need to. So this is now a new list. Anytime I have ducks or coog and thing, it's going to automatically start that for me again. So now I click OK, come down here, click OK. And now if I come over here and I type in ducks and I select it, notice I have my handle and it says cougars, lobos, tigers, greyhounds, gators, broncos. Now watch what happens. Ducks. Cougars, and it will go on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and I can just fill in this entire list. So not only will autofill use something simple as dates, number series, or we would say fill series, or copy, you can create 
new lists for your autofill. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.